Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of ABAP Explained. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can solve the issue of the uh, layout editor screen painter not working. Mm, I'm gonna be quick with this one. So I've got this screen and when I press layout, the screen painter is gonna start, but it's not gonna uh, run correctly. It's gonna just turn on the basic version that SAP is offering and it's not going to work for us. And if you're also hosting a virtual uh, the server on a virtual machine like me on your private PC, I've found a solution on another channel that I'm going to add in the comments. It was in Spanish, so I haven't understood anything, <laughs> but uh, it helped me any anyway. And I want to show you how you can solve this. Mm, so let's just wait for this one to load up to throw the error just to make sure that it's not working. And in just a moment, I'm going to show you how you can um, fix this issue. OK, it has loaded up. And as you can see, it's the yeah, sc uh, layout editor. It's not looking good. You can't add any elements. And it's the error EUSCRPVN32. OK, so how can we solve this issue? And if you've got your virtual machine all, uh, on, I'm just going to log in back. Uh, you're going to need to go to the network settings. So when you set up your virtual machine at the first place, you have also done this step, but you have just assigned one port. We are going to need to do four uh, rules for the port allocation. Uh, in my case, it's in Polish, but uh, I'm going to tell you how it's called in English. So it's mm, it's going to be here. So devices, network, network settings, and advanced settings, and port uh, allocation, I believe it's called. So we've got this one rule. And if we want, we're going to need three more. So I'm just going to add all of them. And the host, like host IP is going to be exactly the same for everyone, each of them. This one is going to 3,300. This one is going to be 8,000. And this one is going to 44300. And for the guest IP, it's going to be the same. So 3,300, 8,000, and 44,300. Guest IP, also the same. OK, so I'm clicking on OK. And in my console, I'm going to just do a sudo reboot to reboot the machine. And uh, let's check if this worked. I have now successfully rebooted the server. And I've logged in back to the logon. And as you can see, if I click on layout, it's going to show me the beautiful screen painter that we all love. And we can now add any elements and do changes to the screens. Mm, if the reboot doesn't work the first time, try two times. Uh, so it doesn't always get it the first time. You might have trouble logging back in. But don't worry. Uh, at the end, it should work. I'm going to show you the whole process at the end of the video, all the comments that I've used, mm, just as a short instruction how you can do it by yourself quick. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next video.